In the last video, we introduced truth tables and operators, and I gave you this question at the end, which asked you about a new operator. So I'm going to get in, into the solutions, but as always, if the videos have been helping you and you have the financial means to support the channel for more videos, you can join the channel as a subscriber by hitting the join button below for $2 or $5 Canadian a month to support me and help me make more videos. If you don't have the means, then sharing, liking, and commenting help just as much. So thank you for doing any of those. I appreciate all the support. So suppose we have a new operator and we call this the Klein Dagger. So that's an official name for this. And the way this is defined, we say that alpha down beta, you can just read this as down, is true if and only if both A and B are not true. So basically, if we could write out a valuation for this, we'd say the value of alpha down beta is true if and only if, what are our requirements? Alpha and beta are both not true. So if the value of alpha is false and the value of beta is false. So that's a nice little uh, formal way of writing this out. So let's build our truth table. Uh, so we're going to take all combinations of alpha and beta being true or false. So alpha will be true in row one and two, beta is true in rows one and three, and then alpha is false in the remaining rows, and so is beta. So we'll have one, 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 zero, zero, one, and zero, zero. Now, alpha down beta, it's only true if both alpha and beta are zero. So we know it's going to be true in the final row. And then in the first three rows, well, alpha and beta are both true, so alpha down beta is false. In the second row, alpha is true, so alpha down beta is false because both of those need to be false. And in the third row, beta is true, so alpha down beta is false because both alpha and beta need to be false. Okay, so it's a pretty quick truth table, but I gave you one more. I said alpha down alpha. And this is interesting, right? Because well, what does alpha down alpha mean? Is it equivalent to something else? Well, let's see. Alpha down alpha should be true only when alpha is false and alpha is false. So basically, alpha down alpha is true in the last two rows because alpha is false. So that is the same thing as saying 0 down 0, 0 down 0. In the first two rows, well, alpha is true, so it's like saying 1 down 1. 1 down 1. But that should be false then because we need both of those things to be false. So alpha down alpha is just going to be 0, 0, 1, 1. So I gave you this question because I want to see your opinion on this. I want to see if you can get to this point just by thinking while I'm talking right now. What about the truth table for not alpha? What does that look like? Well, it just flips the value of alpha, right? So the truth table for not alpha is 0, 0, 1, 1. So both of these, alpha down alpha and not alpha, have the same truth table. So what do you think this means? Well, this means that another way of writing not alpha would be to use alpha down alpha. So theoretically, theoretically, we could get away with not ever using the not operator. We don't need a unary operator. Instead of using a not for alpha, we could just use the down arrow. And we could get every case of not, we could just use a down arrow for it. Now this would make our logic very complicated and our translations in English wouldn't align perfectly, but it's doable. So that's why we don't typically introduce the down during, you know, our syntax of propositional logic. The down arrow is kind of a shortcut for different things. Uh, if you're using, say, digital logic, which we'll cover in the course, uh, then you might see the down arrow used. So um, this is like a nor operator. So if neither A nor B is true, then alpha down B is true. So anyways, if there's any questions about this, feel free to post them in the comments below, and I'll get to you when I can.